again in Minecraft. Oh, okay, the sun's coming up. Uh, anyways, in the desert. Uh, we sort of built, I consider this to be the stable. Um, I've already built a few pens for animals. This is probably going to be the rabbit pen since I've encountered a lot of rabbits. We have a smaller one at the house and the rabbits keep getting out, so I make this one a little bit bigger. Hopefully they won't keep getting out as much. Um, plan to gather some sheep and either some pigs or something. Uh, I'll probably make another pen for, uh, eventually to stick chickens in it. There's a lot of stuff here, so I know I can get some stuff. Anyways, I built this. Um, oh, yeah. The house. It was originally like wood and then stone and everything for it. Yeah, I got sick of looking at it and it was so mismatched that I, um, I redid it. I also completely terraformed and mowed down the. <laughs> you can tell I have a lot of time on my hands or something. Um, let's just say insomnia is a bitch. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I mowed those down and replaced it with, uh, solid sand, and this is what I did with this build. I decided to get a little bit more creative and try to think outside the box a little bit more. Um, I had to do a pyramid structure to, you know, to see if I could. Uh, I wanted a second floor to this, but there's not really anything that I want up there at the moment. It's kind of hard to take animals upstairs for things, and I wanted like these windows and stuff, so I'll probably find something else up here, just so there is something up here. Um, I'd get creative with that. I replaced all the stone and everything um, on the exterior anyways. Even when you look at the windows you can still see wood in there. Um, I built this. It goes around. <laughs> I built another fountain. This one I keep having mixed feelings about because the glass didn't quite turn out the way I imagined it would. Um, a glass look around it, it's sort of glass thing. Uh, pyramid, that's what I'm gonna call it. This fountain's nice though. I keep having an urge to destroy the glass. Then I keep going like, but there's so much of it. And it's another nice point to go up to to look around up here. Now there are ones around. So, so far I'm keeping it. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, I almost want to just, you know, completely destroy those bits of glass. And I need this and more right here. As you can see, I have the water going over here. It goes down over here. I just, I want like a little bit of a waterfall thing. When you go over here, you go down. It's a little ladder deal. Huh. Just a piece of regular something down there. Huh. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, and that's right. All this sand came down from up there before. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. But that's pretty much most of that. Um, I was going to finish up having this extend out to here, uh, but I need to spend time digging up more sand, and at the moment I'm just like, yeah, screw it. Um, I've been digging sand. <laughs> I don't 
this one's another one that leads down to the caves. There's a long way down into a cave. So. Eventually I'll probably replace this with uh, actual stairs, but right now, yeah, screw it. Um, there's a lot around here, but so far, eh. Probably be good right here would be if I filled it with regular dirt and then uh, planted a few trees. Maybe something I'll do. Uh, this pyramid's pretty much hollow inside. Uh, I might find something else to do with that, like a little secret deal or something. Um, kept this here. Uh, decided to plant a few trees over here. Oop. And we have all the sugar cane here. And I finally found clay in this game. I um, went down along here and uh, just kind of hung out. A lot of the clay kind of looks like sand, um, just a little bit darker. Sand right now. I think I may have finally found a use in a place for where I'm probably go. Oh, is that sand or clay? Uh, other tools. So far, I hadn't really run into clay, so, you know, when they kept saying, like, oh yeah, just search underwater and these and that places and all this, I kept going, like, well, where? Because I kept looking and I couldn't find it. Well, I finally decided to look underwater here. And, uh, I started finding some. Oh, there's some. There's what it looks like. So I think if I get that potion uh, that I made for water breathing, uh, it'll be a uh, great use to use in you know, this area because I really want to Surface, surface. Come on, woo. Okay. So yeah, when I just follow this, I end up usually finding bits here and there. Sometimes I find bigger catches than others, so Whatever works. And mostly I got kind of excited one because I didn't I don't usually find clay all that often. But um, also um, starving to death over here. Uh, hold on my volume up a little bit there now. Um but also I hadn't really tried dyeing um clay yet. And on one of the sites that they have for, what is it, uh, you know, how to build the different things in Minecraft, there's like a little cheat sheet site. Um, it basically shows like all the different ways you can dye this stuff. Well, um, I got kind of excited because there were some new blocks all of a sudden. And I was like, oh, wow, all these new things, oh, wow, that looks cool, I can't wait to try that. And then I found that it's not available in my regular game yet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, let's see, let me get my second pack. Uh. Yeah, I 
dyed all these different gills of what the uh, local colors are basically. These are the two that aren't dyed yet, that are just regular hardened clay. This is if you add a little bit of bone meal. This one's poppies. This one's uh, cactus greens. This one's if you, uh, well, let me see. This one's dandelions. Uh, this one's if you mix poppies and dandelions. This one's if you mix poppies and um, bone meal to make sort of a uh, pinkish color. And then this one's what happens if you add the cactus uh, green with the dandelion dye. Then it makes like a lighter color. And I did a bunch of these because, let me see if I can open that up. The screen will go black for a second, but that's okay. Um, open this. Minecraft recipes. Minecraft tools and crafting PHP. And they're all loading up. But I got kind of excited because one, there's like all these new ones like this lime concrete powder and it's using uh, gravel and sand together. And basically you're coloring sand. But that's not available yet either. And um, <laughs> then there's these and these are the ones that really intrigue me. This one's, you know, white hardened clay and it's uh, making terracotta. And I was super excited over these because apparently you're supposed to be able to do different patterns. I uh, looked up some YouTube videos and it's only available in Minecraft Snapshot right now. And um, it's like this whole other deal basically, you know. I guess it's like the experimental version or something. I was trying to look into it. I, I'm still fairly new to Minecraft. I mean... I've only been playing it since June, so <laughs> so every time I find something out, I'm like, yay! <laughs> I mean, I haven't even been to the Enderman world, the end yet, so that's one of the things I'm really hoping for. Um, I'm still a newbie at it, really. Um, but, you know, some people, a lot of people had good things to say about these blocks on uh, YouTube and things. Then there were a few that were like, "Oh my God, they're ruining Minecraft now by adding by adding these. They've ruined it." I don't see where it ruins it. I, I mean, they're like, "Oh yeah, you're doing this and that. You ruined the basic deals." You know, to me, it just added another layer of what you can do. I mean, you can make even more design, even more artistic stuff. I mean. It, it just expanded it further. So, anyways, there's all these different colors, and they're based partially on what color the hardened clay. Then, when you heat it again, it's supposed to turn into these. Wow. Okay. I just spit on my screen a little bit there. That's. Bleh. Okay. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Um. But based off of, you know, what colors you're supposed to have done, it uh, changes different deals. And then you can make different patterns. And some of them come out extremely cool uh, from what I saw. But, you know, getting it to actually do it, yeah. yeah. It's not available yet. I can show you here that it just does nothing. It's supposed to heat up and turn into that put in here. Yeah, nothing. So, it's not available yet. The game just looks at me like, what the fuck are you trying to do? <laughs> so right now I'm just keeping them in there because I don't really have specific use for just colored clay blocks at the moment. Um, right now this is all that's left of all the sand that I I've made on it. I, I just completely used it all. Um, there should be some glass back at the home base other than this. Uh, but yeah, and then a bunch of this came from in there too. So. Um, oh yeah, I was going to cover it. Yeah, I've gotten a 
lot of silver from the mines here. It's it's kind of something else, man. Alright, let me see. Go up here. It's night now. Um, I was looking at banks for, you know, ideas of what to do, and then one of the things I'd seen was using the uh, trapdoors as, um, like, window coverings. And I was like, oh, wow, that would be cool. So I decided that I would do it all. Oh, ow. Okay, I missed. Ow. Broken shins. Broken ankles. Broken feet. Ow. Ow. <laughs> but I really liked the look of it. So when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. So I decided to implement it. And yeah, I had to stick one up there, one down here. something. Oh, that's what I heard. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I really like the idea of this. Because, oh, he's right out there. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, so as long as my cursor doesn't actually hit his eyes, he don't care. And they don't recognize when you look at them through objects. That's the one thing about all of them. Um, all the mobs. They can't seem to differentiate. You know, the whole uh, <laughs> transparency items. Um, so it just acts to them like, you know, they're not actually doing anything. Um, so, yeah, these open up. And that's one of the things I actually really like because I was like, hey, that's like, you know, shutters. Um, this one I did inside because I really couldn't get the entire outside. So that one opens a little bit more. But I liked it because I was like, hey, I could, you know, open these up and actually shoot from them. Rather than just having something that's always open or always closed. So, I was actually really glad I kind of like looked up ideas, because I was just, you know, trying to look for some kind of idea of what it is I could do for structure. And this, I was just playing around, but, you know, you got one door over here, you got two doors over here. <laughs> or you can open all three. <laughs> I'll figure something out with that eventually, but... Right now, I just want it closed off, so that's what I did. <laughs> like, ah, screw it. Um, oh. oh, sit still, you little fucker. Having to collect my arrows. Ow! Where? Ah! Oh, two of you! Ah! Go screw yourselves! Um, yeah, my other bow was completely close to breaking, so I just said, screw it, and switched over before it actually broke. That way I could keep, uh, looking at it. Ah! And referencing back to it when I would be trying to build a new one, hopefully. So, um...
So yeah, I pretty much lost my last bow. It's near death. So. Die! Die! Found out one good thing about here in this desert area is one, you never really run out of sand, so you can use all the glass and everything else you want. Um, <laughs> two, this has a lot of the Acadia wood, so uh, Acadia, Acadia, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you know, I can just keep going out. It actually drops quite a few every time, so... Uh, what are you doing in here? Besides, uh, the plant deal, which I have to do a little bit more work on. Which I haven't been in doing much with it now. I made an enchantment room out here since this is one of the longest tracks is all the way out here. Um, and I had the supplies I decided to do an enchantment room. And I stuck a hat on. <laughs> it's a roof right now. Hey, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, Right now we're a little off from there. Uh, that one got turned into a brick somehow. Originally, I got done with this and I came down here and I looked up at it and it was all lopsided. I'd somehow missed like a row and misplaced it. <laughs> it was all like moved over to one side over here and it was all center. I was like, what? <laughs> I just do. <laughs> area of books. Um, it's a little sunken in here. I figure eventually I'll put like a chest right here and then that's where um, we'll keep sapphires so that uh, you know every time you go in there you don't have to drag whatever you can find of them from wherever into there because you know just do what I've started to do at the other house, and uh, there's just the chest, and the reason why I'm bringing saddle creepers right outside of your it for now.